everyone. My name is Martha Waters. I'm actually a local children's librarian. I work at the Chapel Hill Public Library, but I'm also a writer of books, not for children. And my debut novel, To Happen to Hoax, came out on April 7th. Um, so To Happen to Hoax is a romantic comedy set in Regency England. It's about an estranged married couple, Violet and James, who got married when they were quite young, even by Regency standards, and got in a big fight and haven't been on speaking terms ever since. So at the beginning of the book, Violet decides to fake a case of consumption to get her husband's attention, as one does. Um, and her husband, James, figures out what she's, what's going on pretty quickly because it's not a very good plan. Um, but instead of calling her out on it and having a mature conversation about it, he decides to play along. So it becomes this sort of escalating battle of one-upsmanship when they're, where they're basically playing chicken with each other to see which one of them is going to call the other person's bluff first. Uh, when I was trying to find a literary agent um, to get published, I pitched the book as the they don't know, we know, they know, we know episode of Friends with more consumption, which I actually think is a pretty accurate description of the overall vibe of the book. I would say it really perfectly straddles the line between um, contemporary romantic comedies that have been really popular in the past few years, like The Kiss Quotient or The Wedding Date, things like that, but also your more traditional historical romances. Um, so Julia Quinn's Richardson series, Tessa Dare, things like that. So I think if you're a fan of either of those genres, you would enjoy it. Or possibly if you're just someone who's looking for a light, funny, hijinks filled, feel good read in this not very light or funny moment we are all living through. I promise it ends happily because it is a romantic comedy. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. So a nice, light, uplifting read at the moment. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone is staying safe and well at home and that you are all finding lots of good books to read since we cannot leave our homes for entertainment. We have to at least be entertained at home with our bookshelves. <laughs>